I'm in Active Directory Users and Computers, and I've just imported a lot of users. And you can see the little arrow pointing down next to each user and computer. What I need to do is to enable those users and computers so I can use them or the users themselves can use them. So if I right click on any of them and choose Enable Account, we can see little arrow goes away and it's now enabled. I can also select multiple ones at the same time by holding down the shift key and clicking on the first to the last and then choosing enable account. Now, if we take a look at one of the other OUs, here we see that there's a security group in here as well. Now, by default, security groups are always enabled. So we don't need to right click and choose enable because it's just not an option. What a lot of people do is they make the mistake of selecting everything. And then when they right click, once again, enable and disable is not available. So you need to make sure you're not selecting groups when you go to enable or disable users or computers. Now, of course, we see the option. If I want to disable it again, I can go ahead and choose that. And now that account is disabled. Now, when an account is disabled, either the computer or the user, they're not going to be able to log in to Active Directory to access any resources. So you'll definitely need to make sure that they are enabled in order to do that. Now, there's another place that we can double click on a user to enable or disable their account. So if we click on the account tab, we can choose to expire the account. So I'll click on end and then choose the date that I'd like to expire that account. And I can click it to show the calendar as well and choose whatever date I'd like and click apply. Sometimes an account gets locked. Being locked is not the same as being disabled. Having a user account locked means that someone has tried to log into that account too many times and group policy has said that they cannot exceed that many times and therefore has locked the account. So all you have to do is click to unlock the account, click apply, and that user can once again log in. And now you know how to enable, disable, and unlock accounts using Active Directory in a Windows server.